my voice. Bedroom is twice if you can hear my voice. All right, so I, I don't really want to teach us any new, like really new big concepts, obviously, because we did a lot uh, this morning that we're still grappling with. But a lot of people are getting to the bonus or close to the bonus, and you'll probably want to continue. There's also a Code Wars practice thing link that Celine sent that's really good as well. Uh, but there are a couple little things I need to tell you in order to make uh, the bonus section. I need to answer this question because otherwise I'm going to answer it to everybody individually. So, okay, because uh, it's, it's not explained very well, to be frank. So, okay, so we have, these methods are on the array class, right? We're able to call them on arrays, yes? Okay, so there's a kind of a weird little syntax, and you don't really have to understand what it means right now, but the, this is how you add more methods to that array class or string or however you want to do it. You, you say, uh, uh, I have to be here, you say array dot prototype dot, and then you say the name of the function you're trying to create, like the name of the method. So like if I wanted to say like, um, show me the money, right? Show me the money. Um, and you also have to write in like this weird ES6, that kind of sucks, but you do. You say function, and then this is the argument you would pass in to show me the money. Uh, for now I'm not gonna have it pass a function. And then I'm gonna have, just have it say return the money. Yeah, uh, well, that's fine, I don't care. Okay, and so, what does that look like? I'm going to console log. That I need this spell, right? And I'm just going to have some random array that says one, two, three. And then I'm going to call. And now I can call show me the money. So, so you know how we often, we've been calling functions like show money and then invoke. That kind of function style, that is called invoking a, a function function style. Okay, that's one way of a function invocation. That should look familiar. We've done that a lot on line 163. The other way is called method style, which also should look familiar because that's what we've been doing all day. We just haven't been creating our own. Um, and so when I call show me the money and I invoke it, and I run it uh, here, now we get the money. Uh, those are, ignore these. Oh, I guess I can go find them. It's kind of going to annoy me. There's one. And where's the other? Okay. And there's the other. Okay, so let's just run it again so it's clear. And we have the money. Okay? So, one other thing to note, because like the syntax is like, all right, that's just the weird syntax. We can accept it. Um, but like it's asking you to build your own for each this way, and we're like, oh, okay, so we have to pass in an argument. Uh, and what's the real argument that for each takes on? A callback function, right? So I could say like this fn because I'm dealing with that. But what I really want to show you is like oh, how do I actually whoops, how do I actually access my array from in here? So JavaScript has a keyword, another keyword. It's called this. So if I console.log this, like that, all lowercase, save it and run it, we'll see that I printed the screen that one, two, three. Okay, so if I have to iterate through my array, it would look something like, uh, you know, four, that I, like, okay, let's say, okay, let's do a different, let's like, this is, let's leave this example and then write a new function. So let's write a function that's called like, um, re reverse, reverse the array, yeah? So I'm gonna call array dot prototype dot, uh, or I'll say for each reverse. So this is like I want to iterate through my array backwards. 
This would take in a func this is a function that takes in a callback. So this is going to work like your regular for each, right? So I would say for let i, what should i start at? Array.length minus 1, right? And so how do I refer to our array? This, right? So it's this.length minus 1. Well, i is greater than or equal to 0. I uh, decrement it, minus, minus. And then I could just do um, cb and do this at, at i because I can still key into it the same way. So what does that look like? What does this mean? Yeah, that's really the good question. OK. Let me show you what, how it works. So I could say 1, 2, 3, 4. And I could say dot, uh, what did I call it, for each reverse. For each reverse. And this takes in a callback function. The function takes in an element. And I, all I wanted to do is console.log, and it's going to print the element to the screen. So I'm here, I'm going to run it, and we, we get this. Can I read for each reverse? Oh, you know what? This is like a small little weird kink because it's not really. Don't worry about it. Uh, okay, instead I'm just gonna go like this. You'll probably have to do this too for the new ones you're adding. But array equal that, and then array dot for each, and then it works. Uh, basically, it, since we just added it to like the array class, it's just not letting me call it on a like straight data array. I, I, it needs to already be established as a variable. I don't actually know why that happens specifically, but I can try to look into it. It might be kind of an interesting thing. But that's how you can test it. Is any, any questions on this? Like on what this as and what I've covered and also this, the keyword? Yeah, Marvin. How often will we be using prototype? Not that often. Next question. Yeah, see how. Why am I using this? Because I want to start iterating from the last element. If I, and so the last index of any array is its length minus one, because the indices are always one behind the length. Is that just like a stretch? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. No, that's fine. I can do it too. Uh, <laughs> No? Stretch? Should we all stretch? Uh, we can. Henry? All right, that's, that's a stretch. Okay. <laughs> Serenity now, right? Uh, okay, so that's, that's, just, that's all you really need to know for this. Um, you you like should know prototypes and stuff. Not now, because we haven't got that at all. Uh, it's technically under like the constructor section, which we're actually going to skip, I think, for a while because I'd rather us learn classes and then once we have a strong grasp on JavaScript, go back and figure out what's going on in the ES5 version because we're really going to be sticking with writing in ES6. Uh, anyway, but for adding something to a built-in class that already exists, this is how you'll have to do it. Right? Just FYI, same thing would work for string. Right? I could do string dot prototype dot, uh, I'll just say ignore and yell, right. or I'll just call it yell. Right, that could be kind of fun. It's a function, and all this function does is return this dot to uppercase. Yeah, that's going to make it tough. Right, so if I do that, I could have a string. It says let string, and I'll say like, hello, my name is Corey. String console.log string dot 
PL. And now we can shout it on the string. So that's kind of cool, right? That's kind of like fun. We can add things to the class. Uh, Ashia. So this is, is, is the array? This is referring to the array, yeah. So in JavaScript, this actually refers to the context. It's kind of a confusing thing, and we're definitely going to talk about it a lot more. But like in this style, when we've been saying, uh, show me the money, uh, I don't see it anymore. I might have deleted it. But the very first way we've been doing most functions, which is like fire function, right? This is called function style. The this becomes the globalist, most global scope, which is like the window. Um, here, I can actually, I mean, I can show you if you're really interested. Uh, I can say, con oh, I'll do it like this way. I'll, I'll stick with ES5 just for right now. Function fire console dot log this and then we'll say fire and we'll invoke it and we're gonna get like a bunch of crap because this is like all of these global things that JavaScript has available to us like you have seen I think you probably saw set timeout in there it's just got like so much crap. Uh, good stuff, but like a lot of crap that you don't need. But like, yeah, you can see set timeout, set interval, right? Because that's built into JavaScript. That's on the global object. So this, when you do it something function style, is the global object. When you do it method style, this is what the method is being called on. So it's like the context of where we're looking. So array.pop, what's the this? Is the array, right? Yeah. Great. Any other questions on that? All right, so now you'll be set. You can do the bonus stuff. Uh, and you don't all have to ask me, like, how you access the array. Because it's here. Cool? Thank you. That's it.